Sometimes, this old English language thing, it can be a bit tricky. In fact, it can be a bit like that fella who's trying to sell your sister a car. In the showroom, he's all smiles. But after your sister's bought her dream car and gets it down the road, pretty soon, she discovers what looked like one thing on the outside was actually something quite different underneath. English can be just like this. English is a bunch of words which sound like one thing, but really, there's something else entirely. They're called homophones. Not saxophones, not telephones, not headphones, not megaphones, homophones. Two words that sound exactly the same. So much the same, they could be twins. But they're not twins, they're spelt quite differently. Now the good thing is there aren't too many of these little critters, but you gotta watch out for them. If you told me you had a leak in your kitchen, what sort of leak do you mean? One of these leaks or one of those leaks? One of them I'm calling a plumber. One of them we're having soup. If your mother's cooking and she wants a flour, well, which do you give her? We all like a break, but which one? Or if I say week, do I mean this week or that week? Or if you here aren't free to call out, hey dear, are you hungry? Is she calling Uncle George or Mabel? But remember, you gotta watch out for homophones because you can have a real problem here if you're not careful.